Hey everybody, it's back to school time and my wife is a teacher and so we were laser cutting some pencils for her classroom and it was kind of a pain to line up all the pencils and, and get everything working right and so as I was doing it I'm sitting there thinking about how I could make some sort of jig to, um, to, to keep the pencils spaced properly and all that stuff and I'm envisioning popsicle sticks and all that and then it kind of hit me, I have a laser cutter. So what I decided to do was do a little trial and error and get make a little jig that would allow me to put 15 pencils in. And I could just share that file, but you may want to tweak it. So instead, I think I'm just going to show you how I made the how I made the jig. So you go to festi.info forward slash boxes.py py and we're going to go to trays and drawer inserts. And then type tray if you haven't been to this site i'm going to back up for a second if you haven't been to this site it is really awesome like you can get all these preview things to to make boxes and you can adjust them for your own parameters and stuff like that so we're going to go to trays and inserts and type tray and then basically what we want to do is we're going to tweak a couple of settings so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the settings for the finger joint and we're going to add 0.1 millimeter of play just you know to give yourself a little bit of room in case everything doesn't work exactly the way that you envision it and then we need to decide now that the tray does not need to be as long as a pencil or as wide as a pencil it really only needs to be about halfway or so or but i decided to make mine about seven eighths of a pencil width and so you can do whatever you want here i did 150 uh star one and what that's going to do is basically make the the thing 150 millimeters ish wide and then now this is your dividers and this is where you might want to do some tweaking so i think i would start at something like 10.7 or 10.8 um and this is the size of each divider so like basically how wide is the pencil plus the material you're working with so i my last one i did was 10.6 and it was a little tight so i think i would do somewhere in the 10.7 10.8 10.9 11 ish and then you can decide how many pencils you want to hold in your jig so i'm going to do one fit or i'm going to do 15 of them now this next thing is how tall do you want the dividers and you can kind of you know you could make them a little lower but i i want to make sure the thing grips so i'm going to do 9.5 millimeters and then i think pretty much everything else can stay exactly the way it is yeah so your material, I'm assuming you're using three millimeter wood, which is what I used. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hit generate. And it is going to give us this thing right here. So we're going to right click this and we're going to hit save. And I'm just going to save it as um, online demo. Okay. So I save that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a program called Inkscape. So on my K40 Whisper or my K40 laser cutter, I use this software called K40 Whisper, and basically the way it works is that anything on your document that's black will be engraved with an raster style, blue will be um, engraved vector, and red will cut. And so basically, because we're making a jig right now, we want to cut. And so this is bigger than what I would expect to be able to print on uh, on just a scrap piece of wood. So I'm going to cut mine out of two scraps of 12 by 12 three millimeter plywood. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click everything, just control A to be sure you got it. And then I'm going to go to object and ungroup. And now what I want to do is I want to get rid of this. And so I'm going to click one, two, and then there's always a hidden one back there for some reason. So I got rid of that. And then what I want to do is I want to drag this and let's see here I want to make sure I got all of that I want to drag oops I want to I'm not an artist in case any of you guys not figure that out so I'm going to drag this over and then I'm going to regroup that and then what I want to do is I want to rotate that so I'm going to do object and there's a rotation here somewhere let's see I think it might be able to right click it it's uh let's see here it's object rotate 90 degrees clockwise is great so we're going to stick this one up here and we can give a little bit of space and then um 
We're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to try to just drag that and we're going to group that. Object group, right click it, and let's see, object rotate 90 degrees, doesn't matter clockwise, counterclockwise. Oops, drug out that little thing there. So we lost our grouping there. So I'm going to, let's see. Okay, no, we're good there. So object rotate 90 degrees, boom. Okay, so now this is basically, this is gonna be one sheet of wood. This is gonna be another sheet of wood. So now we have to set this thing up so that we can cut this stuff out. So we're going to control A, we're gonna select everything. And then we're gonna come over here to the right and make sure we're set to no fill and then for stroke paint because we're going to be cutting this out we want this to be red so we're going to go 255 and that's going to turn everything pinkish and then we're going to just make sure we have it all selected again and we're going to come over here to stroke style and we're going to change that from percent to millimeters and we're going to set that at one millimeter so now we have this thing is all red now that doesn't really look red to me let's uh let's look at this one more time so okay 255 sorry my bad blue we want to get rid of the, blue, the zero on that now we're red okay so this is the two parts that we need to cut out so what we're going to do is we are going to um grab the top half and so or let's grab the bottom half first so we're gonna come in here and we're going to try not to get some any of the other one but we're going to move that out okay and now we can control x that and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to document properties and reset resize page to content and resize this and then we can save as pencil holder dividers uh, we'll call it part one okay and then we can control Z basically back out of that. Okay. And now we're going to delete, we're going to delete all this. Okay. And we want to save this part because this is, we're going to do something else with this. So let's make sure that's in the center of our work area. And then we're going to do the same thing. We have it all selected. Control A, it's all selected. And we're going to say document properties resize to the drawing area and that just makes our image as small as possible and we're going to save as and then we're going to call it pencil holder part two so that's enough that you could drag this into k40 whisperer and you can vector cut at whatever speed you need to vector cut on your unit and you will cut out your thing the way you want it to so now there's there's two other things so if you picture that this thing is going to be laying on your laser cutter and you need to line all this up that's kind of an issue so what we're going to do is we're going to do two more things we are going to let's close this down for a second we're going to select all of this and this is my i'm i'm kind of a cheater when it comes to this stuff so i'm going to get rid of this and then if you think about it this is the footprint of your of your jig and so what you can do is you can come in here with the box tool and go all the way up in the upper left hand corner and you can drag this to the exact size of the box. Okay, we're gonna, almost there. Okay, so now you can come over here to fill, set that to none, and then set your stroke, and you can make this blue. And so, so picture something. We're gonna come back over to stroke style, and we're gonna make it one millimeter. Okay, so now if you put tape or cardboard or paper or, you know, whatever on the bottom of your K40 Whisper, you can basically vector cut or vector um, engrave an outline that will tell you exactly where to put your jig. So I like to push, I like to take a baseboard, a really thin baseboard, and push it all the way up in the upper left hand corner of the printer and then vector engrave with the blue button this thing and that'll tell me exactly where to put it and then along those lines what we can do is so you know if you're looking if you're picturing a pencil the eraser is here 
and the little metal thingy is here so you can i'm going to zoom in so you already have this to be a guide of where to put your where to put your your writing so if you come in here and click i can come and type in another maker and then basically drag this and if this is in the dead center of this row then it's going to it's going to line up with the pencil when it's in the jig and you can just keep pasting those and you can group them and, and all that kind of stuff and so you can you can print whatever you want so every time you want to make a new set of pencils you can have this document saved as a way to to put your text on there and it's really that simple you can you can tweak this for your design if you want to use bigger pencils or whatever but it's kind of a cool way to make a jig in general to make sure that every single time you use your laser cutter that it's in the exact same spot so what i do is i take my jig and i attach it to uh, just like i said either a thin piece of cardboard or a thin piece of wood so that i can just push it in the upper left hand corner then well so i, I take the wood I put it in the upper left hand corner, I draw the box, I put the jig on the wood exactly inside the box and then super glue it to that thing. And then every time I pop it in there, it's exactly where it needs to go. So I hope that's helpful to somebody and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.